Welcome to the Sorting Overview Whiteboard Talk. In this video, you will learn about factors that contribute to a successful sort on your BD cell sorter, such as the BD Fax Aria, the BD Fax Melody, or the BD Influx cell sorters. There are a number of points throughout the sorting process that can be optimized to improve your return on cell numbers or to improve the purity of the sorted sample. The overall goal of sorting is to take a mixture of cells or particles and physically separate individual populations based on common characteristics, such as size and fluorescence. The particles in your sample tube first need to be identified as events in the system. The cells travel through the sample line to the flow cell and pass the laser intercept point. When particles cross the laser, they are identified as either electronic aborts, noise below threshold, or as events to be analyzed. Events that are above threshold and well separated from neighboring events are processed and displayed as data points in the acquisition software. This electronic efficiency can be influenced by the threshold level, window extension, and event rate. The next stage in sorting is when processed events are identified as target events to be sorted. This is accomplished by analyzing the scatter and fluorescent signals to identify cells of interest through gating. To ensure that you are identifying the correct population to sort, you should first consider the resolution of your data. This includes the selection of markers and fluorochromes, or panel design, as well as the instrument performance and settings such as PMT voltages, area scaling, and compensation. You can also use doublet discrimination gates and viability gates to ensure that only single live cells are being sorted. After identifying the target populations, the system will apply a set of rules to determine which of those individual target cells to sort. If the target cell meets the criteria set by the sort precision mode, a charge is applied when the cell is in the drop that is about to break off from the stream. This timing is determined by the drop delay setting. The charge droplet then passes between two oppositely charged deflection plates and is directed into the chosen sort collection tube. Cells that don't meet the sorting criteria defined by the sort precision mode are identified as sort conflicts and will be discarded into the waste stream. The sort efficiency is a measure of how many target cells were sorted and is expressed as a percentage of total target cells. In addition to the sort precision mode that is selected, the sort efficiency is also affected by the percentage of the target population in the original sample, the overall event rate, and the number of drops formed per second. At the end of the process, the cells are collected in tubes or in the wells of a plate. If the final measured recovery is not what was expected based on the sorted cell count, some factors to check include the alignment of the side streams to the collection tubes, the stream stability throughout the sort, the drop delay, which will determine if the correct drop is being charged, or the collection media in the final tube or plate. Understanding the sorting process and the main factors that influence the success of each stage can help identify ways to improve your sort results. This concludes the Sorting Overview Whiteboard Talk. For more information about optimizing your sort on the BD Faxaria system, attend BD's Advanced Sorting Workshop, The Art of Sorting Beyond the Basics. Visit the BD Biosciences Customer Training website for current course offerings. Thanks for watching.